Did anyone else notice the great weather outside this past weekend? It was sunny, warm, and that means it's time for softball and baseball season. Hello and welcome to Sports Talk. I'm Tyler Sloan. Softball has begun, and we take a look at today's episode on how the McKinney ISD teams have fared so far heading into this week's McKinney ISD tournament. We play ball next on Sports Talk. Now talking some McKinney High School softball. They're off to an 8-4 start on the season. Very successful start, including a victory in the Little Elm Tournament. I'm joined by their head coach, Alicia Crawford. And coach, it's your first year now coaching at McKinney High School. First, welcome to McKinney ISD. And how have you been able to transition from coaching at White House over now coaching at McKinney? Well, thanks for the welcome. Um, it's been a very easy transition. You know, the administration's been great. The school's been great. The girls have been great. I was excited for a new start, and they were excited for a new start, so it's worked out well. You're off to an 8 4 start. That's certainly a very good start. And going into that little Elm tournament, you end up winning it. What were you trying to accomplish with that particular tournament, and how would you end up winning it? Well, we were trying to get some games in and get some success and try to get to know each other a little bit better. You know, we, we'd only gotten Chris, Chrissy Fontius and Jazz Nelson for a day before we had the Forney tournament. And with the weather, we hadn't had a whole lot of practice. So we were just wanting some live at-bats and some games. We got that. The girls hit well. It was, it was successful, and they came out feeling good. And yeah, both Chrissy and Jasmine coming from basketball, and their season went long, and they went into the postseason. So having them, you know, one day, you know, transition into softball, how quickly did they get up to speed? Well, they came in already in stride. You know, they work hard in season and out of season, which is great. But it's just an adjustment for the team with them coming in, and they're both leaders on the field, off the field, vocally, just by their actions. And it just changes the complexity of the, the team because someone had to fill that spot until they got there. So when people went back to their original positions, you know, it's just an adjustment. This is a team that last year just missed out on the playoffs. They had a strong finish to their district season. So going into this year, some confidence going into the season. And what was for this team maybe their, their expectations that they told you that they wanted to accomplish this year? Well, they feel like they let themselves down last year by not making the playoffs. And, you know, they dropped some games that they feel like they should have won. And they, they expect to make the playoffs, and they expect to win some games in the playoffs, and they expect to su succeed and do things that they didn't do in the past. They have quite a few players back from last year's team, and Chelsea Thomas leads them. She pitches in the circle, and she's the leader. But you've been able to split time with her and, and freshman Sierra Wilson to, to help save her arm for district play and to give this freshman a lot of good reps that she'll use in the future. Oh, exactly. Um, you know, Ashley um, <coughs> Carlton was a freshman pitcher last year and ended up hurting her wrist early in the season. And Chelsea had to pitch the rest of the games. And by the end of the season, she was just she was worn out. That's a lot to ask of one person. So we split time this year. You know, the only way to get better is to get time in that circle. And so just as, you know, experience builder and a confidence builder for the freshman, we've put Sierra in there about 50 percent of the time saves Chelsea's arm, gets her some experience, and it's no secret Chelsea Thomas is a phenomenal third baseman, and so that helps us defensively. Yeah, her hitting ability is oh, yeah. almost just as good as her pitching ability, uh, yeah, you say? She's, we've played 12 games, and she has five home runs, so 22 RBIs in 12 games, so I'm, I'm happy with her production at the plate. You have three tournaments on your schedule in the, in the non-district. You've played two of them, the Forney tournament and the Little Elm tournament. McKinney IC tournament coming up this week, so you don't have to travel far right. for that. But all these tournament games, they're, they're really going to help prepare you for, for district getting those reps in. Oh, exactly. Um, you know, with me coming in new, I've, I've switched some people around. I do things a little differently than they've done in the past. So it's been an adjustment with me and the girls. But uh, the tournaments have been great for us to get to see people in different spots and see people in pressure situations and see who can produce when it's on the line. It's been great. I've enjoyed it. Now, you mentioned earlier Ashley Carlton. She had that injury last year that held her back a little bit this year. Coming back from injury, she's able to now play every day. What have you seen from her so far? Oh, Ashley's phenomenal. Um, the, the drawback to her injury right now is she's having to play infield and play second base to keep her from having to make the long throws from the outfield. But she's so versatile and so athletic and 
the infield has adjusted and we've made room for her there and pushed some people to the outfield and it's it's been an adjustment but she's great the girls are great they're excited for what for the change and for new things to come in so it's been nice actually you know hitting in the four in the five spot for us now and producing runs and that's a good thing going into this district 10 5a it is such a tough district last year three of the four teams made the regional semifinals and of course two met in, in the finals so going into or actually, sorry, just one of them got to the regional final. But going into the season, you know that if you just get in the playoffs, then you should be good going into the playoffs. It should set you up very well. Oh, this district definitely sets people up for playoff success. It's a tough district. You know, obviously Boyd and that crosstown rivalry is, is phenomenal for us to get to play. Plano Senior High is tough again this year. And I know Plano East and West are generally in the playoffs. They've lost some players, so it's going to be interesting to see how they retool and come back. But you're absolutely right. Just getting in is the key in this district. And who do you see as going to be the main competition for you facing this year? Obviously, Crosstown Rival with Boyd is going to be there. It's always Boyd. It's always high in Boyd. I mean, you can't – yeah, it, it's fun to say, yeah, Plano Senior is going to be the team, but you cannot beat the chemistry and, and the way that the girls come together as a team when it's high in Boyd. And, and Coach, what is maybe one thing – at the conclusion of this year when it's all said and done and, and we'll talk to you again obviously when district play has gone through and is over with you're on sports talk but what is the one thing that you want to see out of this team regardless of playoff results and, and wins and losses that you want to see them accomplish this year i just want us to be better people at the end of this year than we were at the start of this year and that's that's the key to it as long as we take care of doing what we're supposed to do and doing things the right way the wins and losses will take care of themselves Coach Crawford, thanks so much for joining us here on Sports Talk on your first time on the show, and good luck to you the rest of the softball season. Thank you. McKinney Lions are 8-4 and four so far in softball through their first 12 games. They're looking to do well at the McKinney ISD tournament and have bragging rights in the city.